happy Sunday. Uh, rather than doing what I should be doing, which is preparing for my on-stage presentation, which I do need to present to head office uh, this Friday, yeah, instead of doing that, um, I thought I'd make some Easter treats. I was super excited when I saw Stampin' Up! Uh, released the basket weave embossing folder um, with the, gosh, I don't know where the set is, with a coordinating basket um, stamp set. And yeah, I don't know where that is to show it to you. I haven't, uh, I haven't unwrapped it yet, but anyway, irrelevant. The folder is fantastic. Oh, here it is, look, look at that, okay. This one, Blooming Basket. Not my usual style, but you know what? I'm getting into these blends so much. I thought, what the heck, we'll get this. Um, so it was a bundle for $120 in spending. You get this for free. And so I wanted to make a basket, literally a basket for Easter years ago like when I first started getting stamping maybe eight nine years ago we had made these little baskets and uh, they're so quick and easy I actually didn't even need to um, remeasure well I did just to make sure I was remembering it right but the dimensions are so easy and the, um, the instructions are so easy that really it's all from memory so I'm gonna get right to it because I really I have a meeting in less than an hour or two that I need to get on with so let's just do it I started with a piece of um, crumb cake cardstock and it is measured five and a half by five and a half. So you can get two in one sheet of paper, the eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And we're gonna score it at one and three quarters. And one and three quarters. So you could just slide it over to one and a half, but I'm really underslept and I don't trust my measuring. Um, so I'm just gonna go one and three quarters and one and three quarters. And that's gonna leave this two inch gap in the middle. You're gonna turn the paper one quarter turn and you're gonna do the same. You're gonna score it at one and three quarters. But what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna take my cutting blade and I'm actually gonna cut up to that first score line. And, oh, don't try not to move it. And same thing here, I'm gonna cut. So you see what I've done there, I've cut and I've cut. Then I'm gonna turn the only thing you have to kind of have your head about you here a little bit to make sure you're doing scoring first. And then the same thing, we're going to cut from the score line down and from the score line up. So I'm going to do that. I'm making about 22 of these. So I'm going to do that over and over and over and over and over and over. Uh, the scrap that was left when I was cutting um, the cardstock, I ended up with a three inch wide piece left. So I cut those down into one inch by eight inch for the handle. I'm gonna move this bad boy over here. I'm gonna bring in the big shot. I hope that it's in the line of the camera. Hope you can see that. And I'm going to put, oh, I wonder if this is gonna work. Oh, see, you know, the best laid plans, right? We'll make this work somehow. Okay, I'm gonna run it through the big shot. Because this is so thick, we just need the one plate. Why am I talking fast? And why am I trying to do this really quick? I think my storage is running out of my phone. So I already started filming this um, a few minutes ago and I got in about three minutes and um, the video stopped. So I'm gonna talk fast, faster than usual. Let's see if I can make this work. Okay, so there's my, look at that. Oh, that really looks like you took and wove this paper. Um, it didn't cut the paper. What you can do to, um, just to make sure that it's not going to cut your paper is you can spritz it with a little bit of water, but I forgot to do that and it didn't cut it. So yay. One last step to do. So I'm going to just try to, I'm going to go off camera here for a second and see, working with my bifocals, if I can line up this weave pattern. Um, talk amongst yourself. I could give you some elevator music, but okay. Um, close, oh, okay, yeah, okay, let's go this way. All right, so I'm just going to try to line up this pattern a little bit. There, that should, is that too wide now? Yes, it's too wide, can you stop doing that, Tamara? How about like that? There we go, let's do that. That should work, just so we can get this other side. Okay, off to the races. Okay, that's a bit of a pain in the throat out. That's my Polish grandmother. Let's see. All right. Oh, look. Okay. It flattens it a little bit by squishing that through again. But, um, oh, well. If anybody's going to complain, they don't get one. Okay. How's that for a deal? And then, oh, okay, we need it to be longer. All right. I'm going to do the same thing to the 
handle. Yeah, we need longer embossing folders. Make notes, stamp it up. In case I ever want to make another basket. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to try to uh, line up the pattern because I am that good. Sure, I can do it. Why not? <sighs> oh, never put your folders through that way. Folders always go um, edge end in first or they do crack. Trust me, I could show you one that is uh, fairly ruined by not putting it in seam first. Okay. All right. Here's our pieces. I am now going to corner round. This is our retired corner edge punch, but I'm going to... How do I do this? Oh, you know what I should have done was fold it on the score lines. Oh boy. Can you tell I'm just kind of winging this? Okay, it's cracking a little bit. I might have to... Um, on future ones, I will spritz it with the water just to make sure that it's not too crazy cracky. Okay, so we're folding it on all the score lines that I had originally done. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it up like this and attach it. And look, there's a basket. But I want to corner around these corners. So that's this one and this one. So this is the old retired Project Life one. I actually still have my other one um, from pre-Project Life from years ago. Oh, see? wasn't careful enough. Can you see that? Anyway, you get the idea. Try to be a little bit more professional than I am. Like that. Okay, so then you can take some glue dots and you're simply going to attach it like that uh, so that you don't see this extra piece. On both sides you're going to do that. And then this is going to get covered up. You're going to have some sort of a circle or where's all my pieces? Ah! Okay, my pieces. Okay, let's pretend that this is a bunny or something. No, okay, that's crazy big. Okay, how about, is this, oh, oh, that, oh. Okay, pretend that's a little bit smaller. But that's going to be like a circle or something with a rabbit. Like this guy, here. Oh. Here, this guy. Let's rip him off. He won't mind, will he? Well, you, you get the idea. So that's going to hide the seam there. You're going to use some sort of um, sticky strip or the tear and tape to attach the handle. Bam. We're going to fill it with that grass. Where's that grass? Whatever this stuff is called. This ready shreddy. There you go. I knew about it for a reason. Pop it in. Oh, look how good. Okay. All right. It's all coming together. Anyway, that is what I'm going to be doing um, tomorrow for entertainment. And uh, yeah, we'll be good to go for my little Easter gifts. Anyway, I hope you're having a fun Sunday and we will talk to you soon. Bye.